dear students as we have discussed in the previous classes scarcity is the most pervasive problem in economics due to scarcity all economic decisions all economic activities give rise to benefits and costs all economic activities give rise to benefits and costs and the aim of economic decisions is to economic decisions involves benefits and costs all economic decisions involve benefits and costs and the aim of economic decision is to maximize net benefits the aim of economic decision is to maximize net benefits net benefit increases as long as the extra benefit we use the term marginal benefit marginal benefit net benefit increases as long as marginal benefit extra benefit from an action exceeds marginal cost or extra cost associated with the action the aim is to maximize net benefits and the net benefit increases as long as marginal benefit of an action exceeds marginal cost resulting from that action and net benefit is maximized when marginal benefit equal to marginal cost the aim is to maximize net benefits and net benefits are maximized the aim of any economic decision is to maximize net benefits and the net benefits are maximized when marginal benefit is equal to marginal cost and net benefit increases as long as marginal benefit of an action of an economic action exceeds the marginal cost associated with that action and this concept apply to all economic decisions all economic decisions are based on maximization of net benefits and net benefits are maximized when marginal benefit is equal to marginal cost and this principle applies to consumers when spending their income to firms when organizing production to the workers when deciding how many hours to work for an individual in deciding how much to spend and how much to save all economic decisions consumption decision production decision the decision to work or not the decision to spend or save all decisions are based on the principle of what to say marginal benefits net benefits and net benefit is maximized when marginal benefit is equal to marginal cost indeed the concept of margin the concept of margin and marginal analysis 
the concept of margin or marginal analysis represents the key unifying theme in all microeconomics marginal analysis or the concept of margin is the key unifying theme in all microeconomics all the decisions taken by all the economic agents are based on what to say the concept of margin or marginal analysis let us consider examples the aim of a consumer is to maximize satisfaction or to maximize net benefits the aim of a consumer is maximization of net benefits when he spends his limited income and what is net benefit the net benefit is the difference between marginal cost and marginal revenue and the net benefit of the consumer increases as long as the marginal benefit he receives from consuming an additional unit exceeds the marginal cost of giving up consumption of another commodity for a consumer net benefit increases as long as marginal benefit is greater than marginal cost and he maximizes his satisfaction when the marginal benefit received from spending a dollar on all the commodities is equal that is a point which we will discuss later a consumer maximizes his satisfaction when the marginal uh, benefit marginal utility received from the last dollar spent on all the commodities is same similarly if you consider the case of a producer a firm it pays for a firm to expand output as long as the marginal revenue it pays for a firm to expand output as long as the marginal revenue received from selling each additional unit exceeds marginal cost of producing it. marginal revenue from each additional unit exceeds the marginal cost of producing it and he maximizes total profit when mr is equal to mc as in the case of a consumer he maximizes his benefit when marginal benefit is equal to marginal cost that is the marginal benefit received from the last dollar is same from all the commodities similarly for the firm net benefits are maximized when marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost and the same principle applies for a resource owner for a worker when deciding how many hours to work how many hours of leisure to be taken and for an individual worker resource owner he maximizes his welfare when the marginal benefit he receives from wages of an extra hour of work matches marginal cost in terms of leisure for gold that is the marginal benefit from an extra hour of work that is the dollar amount received from an extra hour of work is equal to the marginal cost in terms of the, the leisure for gold by not enjoying the leisure so in the case of a worker in the case of a consumer in the case of a producer in the case of a saver one who is saving 
optimal amount of savings is equal to the amount at which marginal benefit from interest earned from saving an extra dollar is just equal to the marginal cost of postponing consumption. You can save one more dollar only by reducing current consumption. So you compare the marginal benefit received from interest with the, the cost of foregone consumption. A worker will compare the marginal benefit from the last dollar, the dollar received from one hour of work with the foregone leisure. A producer will consider the cost of producing an extra unit with the, the benefit from the revenue from the extra units. A consumer will always compare the cost of purchasing one commodity in terms of another commodity. And uh, the marginal decision making, that is decisions are taken at the margin. The margin, the concept of margin and the marginal analysis is so important in microeconomics. And uh, the marginal decision making, the concept of margin can be used to explain many of the puzzling economic phenomena. A very important and interesting question is the water diamond paradox. Why water is so cheap and diamonds are so expensive? Why water is so cheap and why diamonds are so important? The answer is a person's willingness to pay for a commodity is based on marginal benefits. A person's willingness to pay for a commodity is based on the marginal benefits received from spending an extra dollar on the purchase of that commodity. And marginal benefit depends on Marginal benefits depends on how many units he has already purchased. You will purchase an extra dollar if and only if the marginal benefit from the extra dollar is greater than the cost of the extra dollar. And this marginal benefit depends on how many units you have already purchased. Water is essential, but remember this marginal benefit from the from an extra cup of water is very small because water is plentiful so the marginal benefit from an extra cup is very small that is why a person is not willing to pay a higher price for a, an additional cup of water but the case of diamonds the amount of diamonds owned by an individual at any time is very small. So his valuation of an extra unit of the diamond is very high. That is why the price of diamond is very, very high. This concept of marginal analysis is important in almost all areas of economic life. Suppose that uh, you have already taken completed 12 years of education. Your decision to attend a two-year program, an additional two years of education, depends on the marginal benefit from that two years of education with the, the cost of two years of education in terms of foregone income. Fees, etc., are there for own income by not working. So, your decision to go to a college for education or your decision to purchase an additional unit of the commodity depends on the marginal benefit from the additional units compared to the cost of the additional units. So marginal analysis is very important. Decisions are taken at the margin. Let us consider another concrete example. 
you consider an airline company flying a 200 seater plane 200 seater plane uh, playing uh, seater plane flying over us at a cost of dollar 1 lakh so cost per passenger is by 200 is equal to dollar 500 dollar 500 now suppose that if it will be profitable for the plane to accommodate a passenger if and only if he is willing to pay dollar 500 suppose that at the time of take off there is an empty 10 seats only 190 seats are occupied 10 seats are vacant and suppose that there is a passenger ready to give dollar 300 Now the question is is it profitable for the company to accommodate this passenger even though his willingness to pay is only 300 remember this if uh, the cost per passenger is 500 we will at the first sight uh, we may think that it is not profitable to include him but remember accommodating him will give uh, $300 to the company and the cost of this additional passenger is very small maybe the cost of a pack of peanuts or a, a soft drink so it is more profitable to accommodate the passenger with a, an additional with a, just a 300 rupees because it is profitable and that is the power of taking decisions at the margin so taking decisions at the margin is important in all walk of economic life and uh, remember this in pursuing uh, your education in all economic decisions the decisions are taken at the margin so the concept of margin is very important cost of an additional unit compared to the benefit cost of producing an additional unit cost of saving an extra extra dollar cost of working one more hour cost of pursuing one more year of education etc etc is very important in decision making so in economics we take decisions at the margin we compare benefits with the costs and the aim is maximization of net benefits net benefits are maximized when marginal benefit is equal to marginal cost as long as marginal benefit is greater than marginal cost it pays for the decision maker to increase that activity so margin is very important in economic analysis